this video we will be discussing the z-score, what it is and how we would use it practically. So the first thing I'd like to introduce you to is the z-distribution. And so the z-distribution is a normal distribution centered at zero. So this is zero right here with a standard deviation of one. And so I'm going to just draw one, two, minus one, and minus two to represent the numbers of standard deviations away from the mean, which is zero. And so if something lies, if a data point lies directly in the center, lies directly here, this means that 50% of the points have a value less than the value in the middle, which is zero. And if, the, if our value lied at one z-score, this would mean 84% of values are less than one standard deviation. Now, if we had a z-score of minus one, this means that about 15% percent of values are less than minus one standard deviation and so right away you can see that there are, as you as your z-score increases there are a lot more data points that are below that value and so, practically, how would we use the z-score? Suppose your cousin wanted to know whether they should join the running team or the bicycle team. And the only information they had were six scores of competitors on that team and so for the running team we knew that someone can run 18 miles per hour another person 19 19 20 21 and 22 and on the bicycle team we knew that members of that team had speeds of 27 27 28, 28, 31, and 32. Now your cousin's speed while running is 21 mile per hour. And your cousin's speed while biking is 28 miles per hour. Should your cousin join the running team or the bicycle team? And so a way for us to compare your cousin's speed relative to the other members of the teams is to compute a z-score. And so the first thing we do is compute the mean. So the mean of running is equal to the, basically the means of, of these data points right here, the mean of these data points, which is 19.83 roughly, and the standard deviation running which is 1.47 roughly now the mean of bicycling is 28.8 and the standard deviation of bicycling is 2.13 and so these means and standard deviation represent other members of the teams 
Now we need to see, we need to basically compute a z-score of your cousin's performance relative to the team members. And so since your cousin's performance is 21 miles per hour, the z-score is computed as the score that you want to find the, the z-score of. In this case it's 21, but we'll put it generally for now. So the value subtract the mean divided by the standard deviation. So we have 21 subtract 19.83 divided by 1.47. And when we work that out, that comes out to 0 0.7925. So that's for the running team. If we compute the z-score for the bicycling team, we use the exact same formula. 28 subtract the mean which is 28.8 .8, divided by 2.13 so this value is minus 0 0.3899 now so if we think back to our distribution that we drew at the beginning on the bice on the running team your cousin's z score is close to 1 about 0 0.8 whereas on the bicycle team your cousin's z-score is minus 0 0.38 so if we redrew the distribution on the running team let's put running is in the running your cousin would fall about here assuming one is here let's say your cousin falls about here but on the bicycling your cousin falls about right here minus 0 0.38 and so you could clearly see that this is the number of people who would be slower than your cousin on the bicycling team whereas this is the number of co people that would be slower than your co cousin on the running team that is a lot more people and so I would advise my cousin if this person was competing to join the running team because there are a lot more people that are slower than this person on the running team. Thanks for watching.